Sometimes a simple password reveal can be more creative, like this one. If you observe, the light beam not only reveals the password, but also interacts smoothly for the cursor movements. And to recreate this effect, I have used a form element and added an input container. Inside which, I have added a label for the input. Below that I have added the input field itself. As the main focus is on the toggle effect, I have added the password field only. Next style the input container by setting its width to 350 pixels and position to relative. Next style the input element by setting width and height, apply a padding of 15 pixels, and make sure to set the box sizing to border box to avoid the overflow created by the padding. Next set padding right of 50 pixels for the toggle icon. Then set its background to transparent. Next remove the outline and apply a dashed white border of 0.6 mm. Finally set its font properties as shown. Next add a simple focus effect by changing the border color when focused. Next style the label element by setting its font properties and providing a margin bottom. Now we will create the light effect. For that, inside the input container create a light element as shown. Inside which add an icon for toggling the password. Below that add a beam element which will be the light beam. Next style the icon inside the light element by setting its width, height, color. Then set its alignment and font size. Next style the light element by setting its position to absolute at right 20 pixels and bottom 11 pixels. Then set its width and height to 30 pixels and cursor to pointer. Next style the beam element by setting its position to absolute at top 50% and right 15 pixels. Also translate it in Y axis by minus 50% to align the beam at the center of the light element. Next set its width and height, but nothing is visible yet. For the beam effect add a clip path as shown and set its background color. We can see that we are not able to type into the input field, the beam is overlapping with it. Fix it by setting pointer events to none and mix blend mode to multiply. Now we can see that the beam is not visible after applying the mix blend mode. Fix it by setting translate 3D property as shown. Now we are able to focus and type into the input field, but the text is not visible because of the text color. If you change the color to black, then the password will be visible on typing. Later we will change the color dynamically using JavaScript. Make the beam more interactive by adding the box shadow as shown. Now we will make the beam move based on the mouse interactions. For that initialize a variable targeting the beam element inside the script tag. Next add an event listener to the document to detect the mouse move event. Next initialize two variables, mouse y which is the y coordinate of the current mouse position and rotation range which is the threshold range by which the beam can be rotated. Next calculate the rotation angle, for that first calculate the relative position of the mouse in y axis by dividing the mouse y with height of the window. Next multiply it with the rotation range to get the scaled value in the given range. Next subtract the half of the rotation range value so that rotation angle is centered around zero. Next we will apply the transformations on the beam. For that, first set the translate y value which is mentioned in the CSS. Next rotate it using the negative value of the rotation angle that we calculated. We can see that the beam is being rotated along the center. Fix it by transforming the origin as shown. Apply a transition to make the movement smoother. Next we will make the password visible. For that create a function toggle with parameter as button. Call the function when the icon is clicked and pass the icon as the parameter. Next initialize a variable to target the password input element. I am checking the icon. If the icon name is visibility off, which was set initially, then change the password input to a text input which will reveal the password, change its text color to black, and change the icon name to visibility. Now we are able to toggle the icon. The password is also visible when the icon is toggled, and in the else case when the password is toggled off, reset all the properties as shown. We can see that the beam is visible by default, so fix it by setting max height to zero, which will hide the beam element. Next add a class called on for the beam element and then set max height to 25 view height. Finally at the end of the if else condition, toggle the on class for the beam element, which will make sure that the beam is visible when the password is toggled on and off.
If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.